Now, a lot of people ask, well, what is digital intermediates? And for example, what this is, is this is generally the process of shooting on film, scanning the film into a digital format, doing your color grading, and then after the color grade is finished of the entire project, it's then shot back to negative again. And then the prints are struck directly from this 35 millimeter negative. And this is basically the process of doing a digital intermediate. What this takes the place of is the conventional process that used to be done for film production. And the way this used to be was that you would shoot on film. The original negative was then cut. And then they would make a interpositive of this. And then from the interpositive, they would strike a internegative. And from that, the release prints for the theaters would come. So basically, you were staying completely in a photochemical realm. So the digital intermediate gets rid of all that. So basically you're shooting on a negative. The negative is scanned into the digital realm. All your color grading and everything which was normally done on the uh, interpositive or sometimes also on the internegative uh, timing. This would be uh, eliminated. So basically you're just grading a digital scan from the original negative and then a new negative is then created with the color graded information and then essentially the laboratory if they want to make a print for theater they can just make a one light print from the newly created negative. Many people ask about adding grain during a digital intermediate process. I am very resistant to wanting to do that because generally film grain is added automatically during the process. So when you are reading from the film material, you are translating that grain to your digital scan. And then when you're scanning back to um, motion picture film, then you are going to have the grain in this material as well. Some people do want to add grain afterwards. Uh, if I do have to add grain for whatever reason, generally what I do is I take original film grain that I have scanned and then I usually layer it over the image to give a more true grain look to it. Because if you use electronically generated grain, very often on a big screen, it'll look very noisy and I don't like that. And for myself personally, I like to use true film grain when I'm going to bring it across. When I'm grading a digital intermediate of a movie, I tend not to make the grades very strong. I tend to go because, I mean, this is a movie, it's not a TV commercial. So what I do is I don't give a very, very hard, hard look to it. I give a good look to it and I make it so I don't want to detract from the content or the story of the film with an overpowering color correction. So what I tend to do is I tend to make it a little bit more subtle so that will work well with me. And this usually works very well with the uh, final result for the movie. We will, of course, have certain looks there, but I tend to tone the looks down slightly. The grading suite for a digital intermediate, or when you're grading a movie, we tend to grade in a grading theater. So most of the time I'm grading in a theater that looks like very much like a theater when you would go to see a movie in. I have a digital projector behind me and this is basically shining onto a big screen 
and then I'm sitting at a big desk together usually with the director of photography. Now sometimes what will happen is during the course of the grading, the um, customer, most likely the director of photography, will want to make sure that we're grading on the right track and what we see is what the audience is going to see. So what I usually do is I'll do a what we call a wedge test. And what this is is that I will render out different scenes from the picture like a night shot, the interior, a day scene, a different type of, you know, atmospheres. And then we shoot that out, make a negative of it, make a print, and then we go into the screening room and we look at the final print that was made of it. And then we can make sure that we're going to be printing on the right print stock and that we're on the right track. And this actually is very good because it puts everybody's mind at ease. We know that what we see is what the audience is going to see at the end of the day. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to have a look at my, the other videos on my YouTube channel. And for um, to be alerted to all the new upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks again. Have a great day.